In our international milking shorthorn class, our winter yearling heifer class has been placed. Our second place junior is entry number 1265, Theon Nitro Athena, exhibited by Alex Theon of Waverly, South Dakota. Third in the class is entry number 1269, Lazy M. Lothario Sybil, exhibited by Michael Meyer of Stitzer, Wisconsin. Second in the class is entry 1264, Mapleton Valley Cancun Aliza, exhibited by Catherine S. Agnew of Mapleton Valley Farms in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Our winning entry, first place junior and bred and own winner is entry number 1266, Buckeye Noel Plamamzing at EXP, exhibited by Sarah Rhodes of Greenville, Ohio. Congratulations, Judge Harbaugh, your placings and reasons. Thank you, Laura. And again, a great class of heifers right to the end. But I think a handy winner in this first heifer, a heifer that just excels the class in style, balance, smoothness, and blending of parts. A heifer with that great combination of power and angularity throughout. It's the advantage she has in depth and width through the floor of her chest, length through her barrel, depth of rear rib and flank that take her over this uh, February heifer coming along in second. Our January heifer also has the advantage of carrying that width out through her hooks, pins, and thurls today. But our heifer in second over our heifer in third in a close placing, when you get these heifers in line, this second heifer shows us just a little more style, a little more balance, the youngest heifer in the class coming along here in second. And it's the way the neck comes off of the shoulder and the shoulder into the barrel that takes this second heifer over our heifer coming along in third. Our second heifer is also just a little more correct in her rump structure when you get these heifers in line side by side. But you really love the balance of the third heifer. She's long in her frame, deep in her rib structure, and angular and open throughout. And she uses that length of barrel, depth of rear ribbon, flank and length out through her hooks pins today to move over our heifer in fourth. And our fourth place heifer, and again, a heifer that's the younger heifer in the class, but a lot of dariness, angularity, and she uses that advantage in length of head and neck to place over the heifer coming along here in fifth. This fifth place heifer over our heifer in sixth, when you get him in line, she has more width through the floor of her chest. She's more sprung in her fore rib today and has more depth to her rear rib and flank today than this speckled heifer coming along in sixth. Again, a beautiful class of heifer. Congratulations to our exhibitors.